It's finally here. Teams and Microsoft Loop now work properly together. You can now go and create a Loop workspace that's automatically synced with Microsoft Teams. No more switching between apps or chasing down your important Loop content. And in this video, I'm going to show you how exactly you can enable a Teams connected Loop workspace, create shared content, sync meeting notes, and even use the latest Copilot pages, all within Microsoft Teams. So your whole team can collaborate faster and get straight back to what matters. And before we dive in, let's set the scene. Until now, Teams and Loop were like good neighbors, friendly, helpful, but with a fence between them. They live side by side, but if you wanted them to work truly together, you had to jump through some hoops or even jump the fence. Manually sharing workspaces, adding users one by one, and hoping everything stayed in sync up until one of your team members changed. It worked, but let's be honest, it hasn't been a smooth journey. But now, well, the fence has gone. With this new integration, Microsoft Loop and Microsoft Teams aren't just neighbors, they're now house sharing and also sharing the facilities. That means shared security, shared access, and one shared space where your team can collaborate in real time, right inside of Microsoft Teams. Yes, no more juggling permissions or separate links to Loop content, just instant access to Loop pages, meeting notes, co-pilot content, and more, all where your team already work. So let's get started by connecting a brand new Loop workspace to one of my existing Microsoft Teams. And here's an example here. We're planning an upcoming London event. And inside of our Microsoft Team, as we can see, we've got a OneNote notebook. However, there's not a lot of content inside of our OneNote notebook. But let's change that by using Microsoft Loop as a source for all of our notes and more. To do that, let's select the plus icon to add a new tab. And in this dialog, go and search for the word loop or select loop from the top here. By selecting loop, you'll now have the option to create a new loop workspace. And you can also add a post to the channel to let everyone know you've created a new loop workspace. By selecting save, you'll now see a new experience. It opens up the new create a new workspace tab inside of Microsoft Loop. But here's a tip. You could go and add a loop workspace for every one of your channels in your team. And you'll see that automatically it's given the name of the channel called general. Over time, that may not work well. Imagine how many loop workspaces you would have called general if you created them for every one of your teams. So I'd now recommend over typing this channel name and adding in the name of your team, including either the channel or just the team itself, making it easy to get back to later when you're looking at it through other apps like Microsoft Loop. With that now done, we can see here that the workspace members and any labels for sensitivity will all come from our Microsoft team from this London event. We could also select add content to find other associated content in Microsoft 365 to be inserted immediately. But let's now go ahead and select on the create button and you'll see that Microsoft Loop is now creating this shared space that we can now begin to have our Loop content synchronized with our Microsoft Teams security group, providing quick access to it. And in just a few seconds, the Microsoft Loop workspace has now been created for us. We can start by creating our first page inside of Loop, just like we did before when we used Loop on its own. Let's go ahead and add in some content to this page covering what the scope of our meeting is for the London event. And with our Loop page now created covering the scope of the session, We'd also now clarify, how do I know that my wider team inside of Microsoft Teams have access to this content inside of our Loop workspace? Well, we can check that by going over to the left-hand side and clicking on the icon, and then you see an option here to invite and manage members. By left-clicking, you can see here that once again, it confirms that this workspace in Loop is now synchronized with anyone inside of your London event, providing immediate access to all the Loop content and all the other associated content you're going to create in the future directly inside of this tab for Microsoft Loop. To create new pages for content, well, that's really easy. In this dialog, click on Create New, and you can select Page, or alternatively, even link it to an associated resource. Selecting New Page, we can now go ahead and add more content inside of our Loop workspace. 
Before we get looped out, if you're looking to get more out of Microsoft 365, then why not grab our free ebook collection? I've packed it with practical tips for Microsoft Teams, Copilot, Loop, and more. And it's all designed to help you work smarter, not harder. So head over to our website at your365coach.co.uk and download your free copy today. Now let's head back into Microsoft Loop and Teams and find out what's new. And another neat feature of this experience is bringing together all of your meeting notes inside a Microsoft Loop that you may have used Copilot to generate or just captured in one of your meetings. The problem is though, as you can see here, by clicking on the icon for our workspace, there is no meeting note shown. But not to worry, let's head into Microsoft Loop either through the app or on the web and head over to our meeting notes section on the left hand side. And earlier on today, me and my colleague Alex had a meeting around a London event planning. What we can now do with our meeting notes is click on the plus icon to add it to our loop workspace. Select the London event planning notes, and now we can see this page we added into our workspace. By selecting open, it'll take us into our workspace inside of Microsoft Loop. And we can see that now linked inside of the workspace itself. And in Microsoft Teams, they also now become visible to other people in the same experience. Here's our meeting notes now shown inside of our Microsoft Teams area. Because all synchronized with our Microsoft Teams security group, when we add our meeting notes to our Loop workspace, they'll also become visible to your team. Not only now bringing together content inside the Microsoft Loop, but even meeting notes taken over many different meetings that you and your team can get back to really quickly. And what about Copilot Pages? Well, here I've given Copilot a question inside of Microsoft Teams to come up with some ideas on why we should hold our conference. This output is now going to be used for Copilot, but can also be sent into a new Copilot page. And because they're powered by Microsoft Loop, we can also bring them into our Loop workspace and provide your team access. To do that, I'll go ahead and select the Editing Pages button. What I'll also do is change the page title by over typing Can You Help by Confirming and adding the relevant title to our Copilot page. With that now done, I'll be easily be able to get back to it in Microsoft Loop. And to do that, I'll head back into our Microsoft Loop app, select Recent on the left-hand side, and I can now find the relevant page to locations for the conference in London. What we now need to do is once again, click on Add to Workspace in the top left and add it to our London event planning notes. This now adds the page to the workspace, meaning that me and the team can now handily get back to it in Microsoft Teams using the Teams itself and then the Loop integration to show it on the screen. And here we are, locations for the conference in London, shown inside of our Microsoft team and easily accessible. You can now see I can build out other types of content, co-pilot pages, meeting notes and more, being brought into a central location and synchronized to your team with the help of the new integration with Microsoft Loop with Microsoft Teams. Before we wrap up though, there are a few current limitations you'll want to be aware of. First, this is a big one. Right now, you can't connect an existing Loop workspace to a Microsoft team. Every time you set this up, it creates a brand new Loop workspace. Hopefully, that will change in the future and we'll get the ability to link existing Loop workspaces to existing teams while keeping all of the security and permissions in sync. But at the moment, that's sadly not possible. And also, don't feel like you need to create a Loop workspace for every single channel in your team. Remember in using this feature, it creates a workspace for every single channel. Personally, I wouldn't. It gets messy really quickly. A better approach for me is to create one central workspace on one of your channels. On the other channels, simply add a website tab and link back to your Loop workspace from the URL. Then you won't be duplicating your content across multiple Loop workspaces. And a few other things to keep in mind. If you use task lists from your Loop meetings experience, well, they won't appear in a shared plan inside of your Teams. So do be aware that you may still want to have a centralized plan added as a tab in your team and then paste it into one of your Loop pages for quick access. Also, everyone in the team will have access to your connected Loop workspace. That's the biggest benefit of this change, but be mindful when it comes to creating content in Loop, it will be visible to others. And if you share a page or a Loop component outside of the team security, 
Well, of course it will work for others, but the wider team security doesn't change. So do be aware that security in the way you share loop content can differ from the Microsoft Team workspace itself. And finally, as you may be aware, Loop workspaces in this synchronization does not work for shared or private channels, just standard channels for the moment anyway. So whilst this integration is a big step forward, there's a bit of room left to grow. But even with these limits, I believe it's a powerful way to start bringing Loop into your daily collaboration and team right inside of Microsoft Teams. So here's the bigger question for you. Is this the turning point for Microsoft Loop? Would you start using Loop instead of OneNote inside of your Microsoft Teams? Or do you think OneNote still holds its ground with its deeper features and longer track record? Personally, if I can't have a fully synchronized Loop workspace in a team, I'd struggle to go back to OneNote, especially with how smooth and collaborative when we're using Loop with this new integration feels. But hey, that's just me. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Microsoft Loop and what it provides. But do let me know in the comments what you think. Is Loop ready to take over as your go-to digital notebook in Teams for your wider team collaboration? Or is it not quite ready yet? And if so, what's missing? So I hope you enjoyed this new look at Loop and Teams working better together. If you did, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon to get latest from me every single week to help you become more productive with the tools you already have. And other than that, well, I'll see you in the next one.